What's up guys, Johnny here with Team Legit and I'm here with Pete Morrow from Drone Squad. This guy is the man of the hour. Today is your day. It's It's been a day we've been looking forward to for a long time. Uh, so we want to welcome Pete to the shop, the Team Legit humble abode. This is where a lot of legitness happens. Um, I don't want to say welcome to the show because it's not really a show, it's just, just a hangout. We yes. wanted you to come in. Uh, today, Mr. Morrow launched a product uh, along with... Trappy from Team Black Sheep. Right, so um, I got a bunch of questions as soon as that product went out. So today we're here to help answer some of those questions. We're here to talk about what this product is and what it's gonna do to FPV, what it's gonna do to the FPV racing community. This seems way too formal, Johnny. It's not like you. No, there's uh, too much seriousness. <laughs> because I take FPV so serious, and that's why there is the seriousness today. Yeah, I mean, I walked in, you had a hair and makeup person. Yes, you, you got the fluffers over room, there. I got a Red Bull. It was <laughs> totally unexpected. I thought we were just going to hang out. Let's talk about how we know each other. Okay. How do we meet? We met a long time ago, back probably like 2012 when I first started FPV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About four years ago. We were like the only guys showing up to the Rose Bowl with fat sharks on and people were wondering what are those nerds doing? Exactly. <laughs> Actually, uh, nerds among nerds. Nerds among nerds. We talk about the Rose Bowl a lot. I don't know if you guys saw the recent <coughs> video that we just did, um, but the Rose Bowl is a common flying site. A lot of people fly FPV there and whatnot. And I remember going there one time and I would be the only one flying FPV. And then I see this guy flying a quad and I'm like, Oh my goodness, there's other people that like FPV. Yeah. So from there on, Pete and I hit it off yeah. and, uh, you know, became friends and whatnot. Um, we've been asking Pete to join Team Legit for many, many years, and he's one of those unofficial, official, he's like one of those guys that's always there, but he's not really part of the team, but he acts like he's part you of the team. You just want me on the team to make fun of the one <laughs> multi rotor guy, because it's all a bunch of wing dudes, and they just need someone to make fun of in their Slack channel. That's <laughs> exactly. That's that's well, my role. But we've converted you. But huh? we've converted you. You fly wings now, so that's I fly wings. Yeah. I fly everything. He does it all. I fly everything. So um, that's how Pete and I know each other. And uh, today there's a big announcement with you and uh, Trappy Black Shoe. How did that happen? That's right. Yeah. Well, uh, Trappy and I have been talking for for quite a while about trying to figure out some way that we could work together, and we had all different kinds of harebrained ideas. But eventually, we came across something. Um, and so uh, we announced today the TBS race tracker. Okay, okay. So uh, we're going to get into that here in a few minutes. You have Drone Squad hat. So that yes. means you're part of Drone Squad. What is Drone yes. Squad? A lot of people ask, you know, what's Drone Squad? Is it like the Suicide Squad? Is it like the, the last ditch effort in FPV racing? Or is it something legit? For us, we think it's legit. But tell us about Drone Squad. What is Drone Squad? Yeah, so uh, Drone Squad is a company I started um, almost a year ago now at this point, and uh, our goal is to connect all the uh, FPV pilots. Kind of like there. how you and I connected. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's not always easy to find someone to fly with. Mm -hmm. So um, we get people that download and use our app all the time because they're trying to find other pilots to fly with, right. locations to fly, and um, and you know, even in a big city like Los Angeles, I get people all the time messaging me in the app saying, hey, where's a good place to go, or who can I meet up with, and um, and so that's what we're here for. So Drone Squad is an app. It's an app you download on your phone, Android, Apple device. Yeah, so you download Drone Squad onto your device, and um, and then you'll be alerted with a push notification as soon as there's a new meetup mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, posted near you, so you can use it to find local meetups, drone races, all different types of events and um, if you're an organizer you can list your event there like us yes so um, we ran a race last October the Wild West FPV race yeah. it was an awesome race uh, but when we ran that race what we did is uh, as an organizer we invested all the money into giving everybody the FPV equipment and mm -hmm. having their aircrafts equipped with it but a lot of people already have the equipment so yeah. if they already got it why should we have to provide it so your app does race management so it does video management, I believe, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it does a lot of things. Like the, the goal is really to make it like hassle-free, right? Right. So if you want to run a meetup, if you want to get a bunch of guys together to have fun or mm -hmm. to run a race, we should make it easy. And it's technically, it's not so easy all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So you, anyone that's flown with more than one person knows that yeah. you can get an hassle with the frequency management. Power on 5.8! That's all we hear. When well, we, we met it. at the Rose Bowl, it was just the two of us. Now, we go to the Rose Bowl on a Friday, there's like 20 yep. guys. 20 guys. And you're all trying to, you know, And 20 guys crash. with uh, 
different experience levels. Yeah. So guys that know what they're doing, they'll come and talk to the other FPV pilots and say, hey, I'm flying on this frequency, what are you doing? Yeah. So your app basically helps bridge that gap between meetups and frequency management. So people can come in and jump in on the heat and whatnot. If you guys haven't had yeah. a chance to download the app yet, go ahead and do that. We'll put the links in the description below. So, okay, so we got the app, we got the you know video management app, we got the meetup app. Yeah. Now what do we have? Yeah, so um, a lot of people have been using the Sorry, app. before before you go in there, I'm gonna yeah. talk back about the race that we had, the Wild West Wing race. Yeah. We had no timing systems. Right. We were using hand timers with judges watching video feeds. <laughs> so every time the pilot went through the gate, uh, you were getting blips. Yeah. So um, that worked for yeah. the best part. But the weird thing was if the judge wasn't paying attention, we had pilots that were going the slowest around the track getting the fastest lap time. So it was a little bit odd. <sighs> so now let's get back into what you were uh, getting into. Right. So. Um... So a lot of people have been using our app to, to run meetups and sort of like the more people that show up to your meetup, like the more complicated it becomes and right. the more painful it is as a meetup organizer because now you've got all these dudes that are trying to get their place in line. So the app has been helping out with that and managing heats and sending a push notification to someone when it's their turn to fly. And so we got a lot of positive response on that, but a lot of, um, of the people that are running more of the competitive types of things we're like, well, this is great, but like I'm having to punch the time in mm -hmm. manually. Like, right. why don't you guys integrate with the timing system and just handle it all? So okay. that was sort of the next obvious uh, move for us. So, okay. um, so then, uh, so, you know, Trappy makes the best hardware as far as I'm concerned. He's one of the leaders. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he's been around for, you know, seven years doing this. He got so. me into FPV. I watched yeah. those crazy cliff diving videos and I said, I could do this. No problem. It's not as easy as, as it looks, but he makes it look easy. So yeah, Trappy's been around for a long time. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. If I don't know. Like some of the viewers are kind of new to this. I'm sure there's a bunch that you know know who you know, Team Black Sheep is all about. But seven years ago, years before the first drone was even sold commercially, those guys were, mm -hmm. you know, taking a leadership position there, and he, um, you know, really helped make the hobby what it is today. So anyways, so. You know, they're really the, the leader in that stuff. Um, and then, you know, I consider us one of the leaders in, in, in software. And, and mm -hmm. so I think he recognized that. He said, hey, let's figure out how we could work together on this. So um, so that was kind of the, the birth of this uh, partnership. Cool. We so it's, it's like software meets? Meets hardware, yeah. So, so I mean, like a lot of products now, you know, I, I think, um, you know, really require good software to mm -hmm. work. And mm -hmm. so, uh, so the race tracker is pretty simple. It's okay. a race timing system that's uh, personal. It's, it's small, you put it in your pocket, uh, it's wireless. So I know, you know, if you're familiar with timing your drone today, obviously you, you know, you're probably dealing with like a $700 system that requires- Like the iLaps or the fly tracker or this tracker or whatnot. And um, what well, we're- the state of the art are these like transponder systems, right? And you know, you may spend 700 bucks setting one up for your club and yep. it requires you to put a transponder in each one of your drones mm -hmm. that you own. So that's, you know, as what, much what as 40 I, bucks. What I feel like with the current hardware that's out there right now is it worked great in the RC car industry yeah. because these cars were going through set barriers, set gates on one plane. Now with quads and drones and whatnot, we're in a different world. We got you know five different axes you can fly on and turn on. So um, what people did is hack RC car timing systems and they make it work, but we're really excited about this guy. So. Um, you said this is something that you can put in your pocket. Now you said each pilot, does each pilot need one of these? So this is how it works. So one race tracker um, is required for frequency. So you buy okay. a race tracker and you simply um, show up to the field. Okay. You pair it to uh, your phone. Okay. You know, using our app. And then you put it down and start it. Okay. Boom. So That's our it? app. So our app already knows what channel you're using, okay. right? And that uh, it uses uh, video transmitter. Um, okay. Technology. So what it's doing is. So I don't have to buy any anything else. No hardware needs to go on my quad. No, that's the beauty of it. It's universal. I don't need to solder anything. It'll work for any. It doesn't have to be a Team Black Sheep video transmitter. So okay. what it's doing is just listening to the RSSI signal that's coming off the video transmitter. It says, "Hey, Johnny's on 5600, Fat Shark One, or whatever." And uh, when it passes over um, the start finish line, it's going to uh, collect that information and then sync it up with our app. And record it in there. So no soldering, no putting gear, no adding weight, no 
drawing voltage yeah. and changing regulate simple handheld yeah. pocket device and that's that why that's why we love the solution because we're all about making it easy for people and anybody could do it we could even have wings yeah we can have quads yeah whatever your app puts you on whatever video channel is the channel that it listens to mm -hmm. so if i go to my field or if, let's say we're going to run an event and yeah. we want to run six people per heat right we only need six of those right and we can run a hundred guys through six at a time with just six devices yeah, it works out well because our app is already doing the frequency management stuff. So we know who's at the race, what channel they're on, what heat they're in. So we're already tracking this stuff with Drone Squad. So the, you know, implementing the Team Black Sheep product was uh, pretty straightforward for us. So, um, so yeah, so it's, just, you know, that's, it's a pretty simple setup. So yeah. this is basically the next step in lap timing because yeah. instead of using hack systems that were from the past, now we have dedicated stuff that's specifically designed for race management. Yeah, yeah. And so this is originally you designed this to be a um, meetup app and now it's evolved to a race management software. Well, I mean, the most important thing for us is connecting people, whether it's for fun fly or competition or whatever. I mean, there's so many people out there buying drones now. They're watching Drone Racing League. They're seeing stuff on ESPN. They're watching YouTube videos and like, oh, this is cool. Like, how do I get involved in this? Well, what do you do? You get a, you know, you go out, you buy a drone or maybe you ordered a Mavic. Um, and want to check out the sport mode or something, but people don't know where to start. Right. And like in my in my opinion, it's more fun to fly with friends, right? right. Like you want to be with someone, especially if you're starting out. You know, like mm -hmm. you're new, and um, getting help from someone face to face is really important. So like our mission as a company is to connect those people together, so people can experience what flight is like. There's nothing like showing up at a field and putting on goggles. So if I watch some drone race on television, you should be able to download the Drone Squad app and find a way to sort of you know, to basically go to an event and see what it's like. So I, that's that's our goal. And the race management stuff kind of grew out of that because people were like, oh, well, you know, this this app mm -hmm. is really, you know, useful for our races and gotcha. so it kind of evolved from there. Gotcha. And you don't have to be involved in a race to get this product or to use this product. Uh, what I could see is other people hanging at home, setting up a track in their backyard and increasing yeah. their lap times and honing in their skills and knowing, hey, that lap was faster than the previous lap and the next, yeah. and push harder or pull back or, you know. Well, we haven't really talked about that, like why a timing system in the first place, right? Mm -hmm. Like I think people take for granted that there's no, mm -hmm. like there aren't a lot of people that are timing themselves. So they, the hardware is expensive, so people aren't going out and right. buying. I'm sure there's a lot of people that would get it. You know, we if I want to go running or, you know, there's lots of apps mm -hmm. to sort of track my performance. So now you can take the $60 thing home and now you can start, seeing how you're doing over time. Like, nice. am I getting better? Right. Am I better than you? Probably. You know? <laughs> I would say, yeah. Barely. Yeah. <laughs> Wing versus quad. You won't catch so, it. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, just being able to time yourself and like improve your performance, go against your friends. I mean, you can use this for tiny with them. So it's like, you know. Wow. Whatever you're in. Exciting. So you go to the restaurant, you guys order your pizza, you set your lap timers so on the uh, back countertop, <laughs> and you fly tiny whoop course so people are competitive. the restaurant I know while you're eating pizza. <laughs> well, cool deal. Pete, we're really excited about this app. I know it's in very early stages of it, yeah. and we appreciate the sneak peek and the uh, exclusive first look at it. I got to hold the device in my hand. I got to play with it a little bit. Yeah, I don't have a cased version, but I mean, this is sort of the naked version of it. This is the only one in the United States, so I have to take care of it. Um, but, uh, but anyway, it's just going to be shipping soon. Yeah, we're excited about it. Can I tell you the biggest problem that I've seen with the Drone Squad app? Yeah. Uh, I work in sales, so I'm outside driving all the time. <laughs> yeah. I get a notification that Cali Drone or somebody else is having an event 10 miles from me, 5 miles from me, and I can't show up because I'm at work. That's my biggest gripe is these, these brace meetups and these uh, events are happening and I can't show up because I'm stuck at work. Tell the squad. Yeah. So Johnny, <laughs> Jeff is coming for you. I mean, Johnny's coming for you, Jeff. I flew that. I'm going to keep my stuff in the car so the next time that little app pops up and says there's an event near me, I might show up. All right, guys, for more information, don't forget to check the description below. We'll put links in there. Don't forget to download the Drone Squad app. Um, to stay up to date with the latest and greatest FPV, don't forget to click the subscribe button. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for the love and the support. If you guys like seeing these exclusives, you know, everything coming to you guys first, hit the like button. Can I give a shout out? Of course. All right, I want to give a shout out to all the Drone Squad users that have downloaded and used the app over the past several months and provided us feedback. You're awesome. The local crews that have been testing uh, the Tiny Tracker with us here, the OC Flyers, the Tilt Squad. 
LAFPV. We've got guys uh, who've been really super helpful, um, you know, Prop Monkeys mm -hmm. down south in San Diego and uh, our, our buddies in Maui. So uh, I want to shout out to those guys who've been helping us uh, bring this to you. Cool. Behind the scenes. Thanks for watching, guys. All right.